Hi, I'm Adam Kendall. I'm class of 2019, and I am the now the executive director of the Oakland Scottish Rite Historical Foundation, which is a 501c3 uh, charity uh, designed to basically restore and renovate the Oakland Scottish Rite Temple, which was built in 1927. It has several rooms uh, for the enjoyment of the Scottish Rite Fraternity, which is a branch of Freemasonry. Most Scottish Rite temples throughout the United States have libraries, other lounges, meeting halls, and even auditoriums where the degrees are performed. Where, where we are right now is standing in the very, very large, voluminous library of which I have put back together. It's had several different librarians. So in a sense, I am a librarian, curator, executive director. I'm wearing a lot of hats at once. As we expand this, uh, this project, eventually I will have interns, I will have another librarian working with me, and I will also have uh, fundraising. So right now I am recataloging the library, uh, reintroducing some of the original furniture to, the, uh, to this area, and putting out interesting uh, displays for the membership and visitors. And there are quite a number of people who have uh, grown up around the region or have had their proms, gra uh, their graduations, birthdays, etc. all have rented space here. We are a fully functional events center, so many, many people know about this space. And so with that, I'm going to take you on a very short tour and uh, come along with me. Here we have uh, examples of probably an early 19th century, maybe late 18th century Masonic apron. This is part of the Oakland Scottish Rite collection and several others. These are worn for various ceremonies and also a sort of you know, fraternal identity. Um, and not just limited to the fraternity itself. These, uh, the images were executed by uh, the best printers of the time, embroiderers, etc. cetera. Uh, the style of art reflects a style of art during the uh, specific time periods in which they were created, etc. The traveling certificate of King Kalakau, uh, King of Hawaii. Uh, he passed away in San Francisco during a tour, and this is one of his Masonic traveling certificates. The membership of the Oakland Scottish Rite, like many cities in the United States, has included uh, many uh, important figures of history, uh, several of which held political offices or, or were merchants, industrialists, and so forth. This uh, artifact here are uh, coats of arms uh, for some of the membership. Um, the person who drew them was a uh, California pioneer during the uh, early American period. Uh, the person his, uh, whose uh, escutcheon or coat of arms uh, this represents is for George Cooper Pardee, who was mayor of Oakland and also governor of California. The artist who drew uh, those coats of arms was uh, uh, Edwin Allen Sherman. He was a uh, Mexican-American war veteran. And here is his uh, Mexican-American war veteran ribbon. Here is a, another view of the library. So while the exterior of the building was redesigned in 1936 and the facade is now a more Art Deco style, previously it was a Greco-Roman classical style. Most Scottish Rite temples in the United States sort of mimic that classical style. Uh, here within the, the building is, uh, unlike the now Deco facade, is, is more Italian Renaissance, classically uh, oriented, Several of the, uh, of the buildings are sort of like theme rooms. Uh, this particular room was designed or modeled after the uh, Palazzo d'Avanzati in Florence, Italy. You can see here the details of the stencils that are on the beams. These beams, however, are not wood. Unlike the former Scottish Rite Temple, which is just down the street and completed in 1909, this 1927 masterpiece 
was built largely with uh, I-beams, concrete, and other materials, to, and made to look like it was wood. As I mentioned before, we are an event center, so here we have our AV tech getting ready for an event. And in this room, again, it's modeled after the Davins, Palazzo Davanzati, and you can see some of the details of the artwork here. The idea of these buildings is not only just for a meeting place, but it's to transport the visitor into a different time period to inculcate uh, the importance of architecture, symmetry, uh, wisdom, education, and to provide a respite from the outside world. So earlier on in my introduction, I may have mistakenly omitted the time when this, uh, the, the date when this building was, uh, was built. It was built in 1927. It took one year to build single pore cement. And as I mentioned before, I-beams, it was part of that ever expanding American city. So everything was built very quickly, but this one was built solidly and beautifully. We're on the banks of Lake Merritt, uh, have one of the best views in Oakland. What you may not know, because of that deco building, maybe perhaps with the classical facade that we used to have, you would understand that we had a much bigger room in this building. But with the deco style and its hard angles, you would never realize what you were about ready to see. Follow me. This is our auditorium, and if you look behind me is a fully functional stage that is used to uh, put on or produce the pageant uh, that is the Scottish Rite degrees, and then also for concerts. Here we're getting set up for what I believe is a prom, but if you look around, you'll see the ornamentation and just the beauty of this very surprising room in this building that most never uh, know that we ever had. And with that, we'll close off by going down to our lobby, which you would naturally see when you're walking in through the doors. We're presently on the uh, mezzanine, just above the foyer to the front of the building, or the lobby, and this, we will go down the stairs. Again, we're getting set up for an event. But you can see the richness and detail of even the lobby. decorated with Scottish Rite Masonic symbols. And other flourishes. We'll take a trip here towards our ballroom. Again, the ceiling here is not wood, it's faux. And this is our ballroom. So of course the ballroom and the auditorium are the largest rooms in the building. This also has a small stage for entertainment both rooms are used for weddings, graduations, proms, funerals, and any other kind of life celebration. And here is the exterior of the building. This is the 
1936 facade that I uh, mentioned earlier on. The architect of the building was Carl Warner, who had designed other Masonic temples, but it was also part of the team who designed the Alameda County Courthouse, which is just down the street here. So that completes <clears throat> our very brief tour. It's uh, not as uh, robust as it would have been had uh, you come for an in-person tour. So if you're interested, find yourself at Oakland, please drop me a line at osrhistoricalfoundation.org. Uh, or look us up online. You can see some of the uh, photographs of the building and we hope to see you soon. Take care.